this is another great favourite fly of mine. Um, and to begin to tie it, I have put in device a Claw C240 size 14 jig hook and a 3.5mm dark copper tungsten bead. Now, I begin by tying on the, the silk. I always like to put a good bit of silk on the fly. So, for my tail, I'm going to take a couple of fibres of a dark cochlean feather. And I'm going to tie them in there on top. Just adjust the length of them to get them just right where I want them. Secure them in. And take away that waste. Now for the rib, I'm going to use a medium copper wire. As always, I tie the full length of the body. And then from my body, I'm going to take three or four fibres off a natural cock pheasant tail. And just secure it in there like so. Then I'm going to take my pheasant tail and wind up my body. DC 240 G cooks are, are excellent, excellently shaped if you're looking for small bodied nymphs and big beads where a more standard G cook that big bead would block a bit of your gap. So now once I've got my pheasant tail up and then I'm going to take my my rib just to make sure I don't pull that tail off to one side and I'm going to wind it up five or six times up the body like so just twist away the waist save your scissors okay for the thorax stubbin I've got this mix of dubbing here it's a mix of my own in there I've got hair's ear as the fundamental dubbing and I have some purple I have some UV spectra, I have some peacock, I have some gold light bright, red light bright, and a few other mixes and matches. It's a dubbing I've been using for the last five or six years on my pheasant tails, and uh, I find it fantastic to get that bit of tighter on the tighter on the thread. I love when it's all brushed out, all those little flecks of colour tend to come out when the nymph is fishing and I find it very very effective so I'm going to tie it in there nice and tight near the head and then tie off your silk now I'm going to take my toothbrush and I'm just going to brush out some of those nice speck of fibres let's get that bit of flash coming out down the body, ready to fish, as I call it. So, once I've got that look, I'm then going to add in a hot collar. So for this, I'm going to use some Tommy Fly UV tying, UV reflective tying thread. Um, this stuff is fantastic. It's it's superb for doing this kind of um, hot spot in behind the bead. The color is very intense. The floss is, is nice and fine. So. It doesn't overpower the, the fly in any way. So put in a, a nice little collar there for yourself. And then to finish it off, I'm going to take some varnish. And I'm going to just put some varnish on the Tommy Fly Trade. Spill it up a little. Piece of like so. And then I'm going to whip finish with the varnish on it. To secure that collar in place. And there we go. Very simple, very effective pattern. I find it quite productive 
throughout the season and in many different styles and types of rivers. Hope you enjoyed watching, hope you enjoyed the tie-in and see you really soon. Thanks.